Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I severely apologize for going past my two-week time limit. I'm sorry if any of you guys feel upset that I made that morbid mistake, and I hope you could forgive me in the long run. For this footage, I'm going to explain an introductory to James Maxwell, who is practically the soulmate for Madame Shear. And bear with me in being able to uh, keep up with me reading the storyline about this. Here's the storyline of how Madame Shear met James. Just do as much as you can to keep up if, if it's fine with you. Madame Shear number two. Kimberly meets James. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames. July 19, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves in Blader Tech Tower, where Madame Shear is doing some work until her stomach growled. Man, I'm starving. I should give myself a cheeseburger from downtown. She said to herself as she decided to wear a tan overcoat to keep from being hounded by, on by enemies and such. As she finally got into the local burger joint, she ended up noticing an amusing man sitting alone at a table in the corner of the room. He has brown eyes, sleek black hair, and is wearing a flashy sweater with dark blue jeans and brown loafers. Kimberly then decided to sit down next to him to give him company. Hello there, I am Kimberly Blader. I apologize if I'm making you feel uncomfortable. That's okay, Kim. I'm... James Maxwell, he replied to her. Kim then said to him, I'm also sorry if this sounds awkward, but I'm honestly wearing this coat to keep from being detected by some of my, um, enemies while in public. Is it okay if you help me with the burgers? And James answered, I can do that, but I've got two questions. Why do you want me to do that? And what kind of job do you have? I have some personal things that might alarm you. For the other question, I'm a weapons designer. That's cool, James replied. After they were done eating their burgers, Kimberly and James decided to walk back to her home. And before he left her, James asked Kim, not to sound abrupt or anything, but what's so personal about your hands? She then sighed and answered, Well, during my work in the past, a group of gangsters were attacking me and blew up my lab along with blowing off my arms from the elbow down. After that, my computer Maya had saved me by replacing my arms with these, and she pulled out her bladed hands, catching James by surprise. It was the best that she could do to save my life, and from that point on, I will do anything to keep chaos from having innocent lives ruined, like what those gangsters almost did to me. I apologize if I'm being a waste on your behalf. And James finally said, No, uh, not really. Honestly, I think your blades are really cool. Think we could hang out more often? Well, yes, James. I would like to hang out with you as long as needed for the both of us, Kim said with a smile. Since then, Madame Shear and James Maxwell were a nearly inseparable couple together. If Kimberly isn't working in her lab or fighting against opponents, she would have many dates with James. And nowadays, Madame Shear will fight chaos not only for mankind, but for James as well. The end. That's the storyline. It's more of a romance aspect rather than an action filled. But of course, you get the drill and such. Hopefully, you guys could bear with me throughout this podcast, and I hope you guys are feeling fine about the aspect of my creativity and such. And if you want, you could just leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe and such. It's your choice. Just remember that. And it's Leviathan here. And until next time, hope you guys have a fine time in the long run in transmission.